In the previous lesson, we saw how to create a page resource, which is the tool you would use when you wanted to add HTML based short content, typically of one or two scrolling screen length. But what tool do we use when we have learning content several pages long? A great tool for this is Moodle's book resource which lets you create multi-page resource in a book-like format with chapters and subchapters. For a change, we will see this example on a live version of Moodle. The look and feel in this example is going to be different just because I am using a different theme on the site, but all the logic is going to remain exactly the same. We first start by putting the course page into editing mode. And then from the activity and resource chooser, I am going to select the book resource. I will follow this with the name and description. So far, this is exactly like how we have done earlier. I will save for now and return back. And we can see the book titled a sample book has been created, but this does not yet have any content. To add content, I will click on the book link name. The page that follows allows you to add chapters and pages into the book one at a time. I'm now going to quickly add a few pages so that you can see the process. If I turn this checkbox on, it will make this current chapter as a subchapter of the previous chapter. Once the first chapter has been added, you will see the table of contents block of the book. This is unique to the book interface. To add a new chapter, we will click on the plus icon in the table of contents. And this leads back to the same adding chapter page. So in an exactly similar process, we can add any number of chapters into the book that we have. I will now move over to an existing book that we have in my live course and show some other aspects of the interface. You can identify a book resource on the course homepage with this unique book icon. When I go into edit mode for the book, all your modifications can be done from the table of contents block. You can reorder the chapters, edit existing chapters, delete them or even control their visibility with these familiar intuitive icons. If you click the plus sign, you can add a new chapter anywhere in the order. So overall, this is how the book tools interface looks like. It is a great tool to make learning content available to learners because not only can you put up text material, you can upload different media such as video and audio like we saw in the page example.